Howdy folks, Dan here with Grits and Glamour and tonight on this cooking episode I'm going to be showing you how to make foil packs also known as hobo packs to some um, it's basically cooking your meat and vegetables in a aluminum foil pack uh, it's great for RVers, uh, we're full time RVers and it's very little cleanup you can eat straight out of the foil pack um, we're going to be doing a vegetable pack and we're going to be doing a separate trout pack. Uh, we have a local lake here that is uh, rainbow trout is stocked about 4,000 a year. Um, this time of year when it's in the fall you can get some pretty decent sizes. Um, so we're going to be doing that with a little bit of lemon pepper. Um, I tried to get this video out sooner but Fortunately, I almost cut the tip of my finger off in an unrelated incident, and it's just now to where I can get a rubber glove over it and, and try to bring you this video. Um, welcome to my <clears throat> world's smallest kitchen here. Um, I like to say, it's not the size that you have, but it's how you use it. Now I'm going to show you that I can, you can really make some amazing food in these small RV kitchens. Um, that being said, um, we'll start getting our ingredients together, uh, for the foil packs, I've got some squash, red potatoes, um, I was just digging through my refrigerator and found, uh, actually my freezer and I found some, uh, corn, corn on the cob and some frozen green beans, which I need to use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those in there too. Uh, also, we got some uh, mushrooms. Forgot, almost forgot that. Hmm. All right, for your foil packs, you can pretty much put anything in it. Um, like I said, what we're going to be doing is putting uh, yellow squash, some red potatoes, some uh, mushrooms we picked up. I had uh, some frozen corn on the cob in the freezer that I need to use. And, uh, had some steam fresh frozen um, some, some steam fresh frozen green beans. I'm gonna use, throw that in there. Um, and through the magic of television we're going to get this in into this. So, got our vegetables together here. Um, got them cut up. You can take your aluminum foil. Now, let me step back for a second. Uh, I'm doing two foil packs. You can adjust this recipe according to how little or more that you want. Um, I did ba I'm basically doing two chopped up red potatoes per pack. You want to cut these pretty, pretty thin, maybe about 3 8 half inch, something like that, because this is going to be, this is what's going to take the longest to, to soften in those foil packs. Uh, basically half a squash each. Um, and what we did is I, you can use olive oil, but I like to cook everything in butter. There's nothing wrong with butter. So you want to figure about half a cup of butter per pack. Just stick it in your measuring cup and uh, melt it in the microwave. And then I'm going to add our seasoning to it. Um, I like to use Tony Satchery's uh, Spice and Herbs. You may not be able to find this everywhere. Uh, if you can't, you can use the same measurements and use uh, Cavender's all-purpose seasoning. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one and a half tablespoons of our Spice and Herbs here. Spoon. There is a half, one and a half tablespoon. Just going to mix it up real good here. Mm. 
using my uh, professional mixing utensil here. Okay, now you're going to get your aluminum foil. I'm going to take two sheets here. Uh, you want to say about 12, 16 inches, like that. You're going to take a second one of the same size, 12 to 16 inches. It's always better to go longer than it is short. You can always take some off if you have to. The lady's like a crock wash in here. Those are mushrooms. Pile it up. An ear of corn. And some green beans. Of course, granted, fresh green beans are always better. But this is what I had. This is what I'm going to use. Okay, do that. We're going to kind of lift this up because we're going to start pouring a butter mixture in there. Pour it over it. Like I said, I use about half a cup per. There we go. Just to be on the safe side, I like a little more seasoning than some people do. I'll season up a little bit more like that. Now we're going to close this sucker up. Start with the end pieces. You're going to make like a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, a little pouch. Fold it up here. Try to get the ends here. Fold those up. Seal it up real good. And there's the first one. Okay, our foil packs are done. Uh, you really want to do this, you can do this on a grill, uh, considering we're in the Pacific Northwest and we're on day 275 of rain. I won't be doing this outside, I will actually be doing this in an, in an oven. If it's on a grill, you want medium heat. Uh, you want your packs. If it's charcoal, you want it about four to six inches above your coals. So medium heat, 25 to 35 minutes. I always err on the side of, of caution and go a little bit longer because of those potatoes. And uh, in our oven today, we're going to be doing this at 375 for 25 to 35 minutes. I'll probably check it around you know, 30, 30 minute mark and, and go from there. All right, now if that's in the oven, we're gonna pull out our lovely trout here. Um, and not everybody can go catch a trout, but sometimes your local uh, seafood uh, store, local grocery store may have it in their counter. And this recipe can also be used for Salmon, exactly the same. We're basically just doing a lemon pepper seasoning on it. So we're going to get our aluminum foil. Again, we're using aluminum foil. Super simple recipe. Now open this up. But lemon pepper, just your basic lemon pepper seasoning. You can probably get anywhere. 
And all we've done is we've gutted this fish. You can fillet it if you want. Uh, I think there's something with cooking it with the bones that adds a little flavor to it. You don't want to slightly sprinkle here. Not a whole, whole lot. That's usually about good enough. We'll take some lemon wedges, just enough lemon wedges to go down the cavity here, like so. About like that. I'm going to add a couple pieces of butter. So about three pieces of slices of butter here. After all, everything cooks better in butter. Gonna take these like that. Yeah, I want that piece. Like so. Super simple. Close it up. Really better to use extra wide aluminum foil. Of course, I couldn't find any. Uh, it's just a lot easier to do that. Just fill this up like so. What we're going to do is bake this 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Again, on an uh, uh, on the grill, uh, you know, medium heat, about 20 minutes. And you can check it and adjust your time accordingly. Alrighty, into the oven we go. Alright folks, we are ready to eat. I had to put the uh, vegetable packs on an extra 10 minutes. I think it because of my oven temperature. So I went with 40 minutes at 375. Um, and one of my foil packets sprung a leak, so it got pretty uh, got pretty smoky in here. So we're gonna pop the foil pack open. This is the one that sprung the leak. this open. That's the great thing about these is you can eat right out of the pack. I don't know if you can see that really good. Layer of butter in the bottom. I'll try this here. What do you want to try first? Green bean? Mmm, yeah, that's good. Potato. Okay. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, now, you see how this trout turned out here. Let's see how this turned out here. Hope it's done. Smells good. Oh yeah, flaking off. Watch the bones on this neck. Oh wow, wow, that's good. Mm. Here, Nick, take a bite. Coming up. I don't like the 
Yeah, in there. So you might need to teach him something since this is a cookie channel. And watch the bones on this if it's cooked properly. Thank you. That's not the real seasoned part. Hmm. Tastes pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Decent. Well, decent works for me, y'all. Like I said, this is a good meat here. So Nick and I are going to devour this. Like zombies in a mm. barbecue fest. And that's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to devour this. I can't quit trying it. Mm, that's good. So, thanks again, folks, for watching. Hope you learned something today. Got a little taste of Louisiana. Uh, be sure and uh, hit that big old thumbs up down there on the screen. And uh, over here on the side, click that bell. And then click it one more time to get notifications. Adios.